This is Bill McCready for Futures Trading Secrets. I'd like to comment on today's market action, if I may. Uh, I've got the 550 tick chart here. I'm trying to compress it to the right size. Uh, as you see, the market opened down here at 953.75 today, right at the first support of yesterday's uh, prices. Now that is always a good sign because the first support and the second resistance or the first resistance and the second support are almost always turning points and we're opened above the low. So that tells us pretty much the market was going to go up. Now as you can see from the way the ergotics are working here, uh, the long-term ergotic is going up right in lockstep with the moving averages. And also at almost every turn and retracement, the market retraced to the 49 moving average. So this is a very good signal. but. What you had is a propensity because we're used to trading range markets. The market, uh, once it, it turns, turning around and going down for a while. Well, today that just didn't happen. So what you had was a, a lot of continuation trades, slingshot trades, slingshot one. And there was a little diddly do. I, I lost some money in that plot. Uh, here was another slingshot. Now, even though the price is below the long-term ergodic, the trend is so strong with the moving averages expanding that you want to be cautious and actually take this as a slingshot. And the second one, now we, it looks like we have a divergence. You could have been caught in that. Um, I watched a lot and when it turned around, I got back in right about here. It was a little late in the day, but I waited until the uh, short-term ergodic crossed its moving average. Now this is on the 550. Now once I got up here, again I saw a divergence and there was a Pesavento bar right here. Um, that was where I stopped trading. And you can see as the market starts to slow down and hit the midpoint of the first resistance up here and gradually over a period of time just kind of wandered around a little bit until it got up here you know at the high of the day and, and then turned around eventually and went back down again. So you get on one of these moves this only happens about 15 percent of the time where you have a continuation move like this that goes forever. These are the toughest days to trade, whether they're short or long. And so just be aware of, of how the market looks and how the ergotics interact. Uh, you could have traded the short term. I'm just telling you to watch the long term when you get in these situations. So thanks for watching. This is Bill McCready for Futures Trading Secrets in the Trading Room.